Ariel Hawani getting set for Strike Force in New Jersey. We're here in New York City right now with Andre Arlovsky, who competes this Saturday night against Sergei Karitanov. And uh, Andre, great to see you again. You have a very big fight coming up uh, this Saturday night. Sergey, you, you guys are part of the, the Grand Prix, and this is a very big opportunity for you to sort of get back on a roll here. How are you feeling mentally? No, I feel great, and uh, you're absolutely right. Most important be for me, be ready mentally. And um, after three losses, I think it's about time, you know, to show something. As an opponent, what do you think he brings to the table, and what are the no, weaknesses? The first time I saw him in life, and uh, he's huge, you know, he's big, no doubt. He's not joke, he's a tough fighter, and uh, he has similar style like me, Samba and kickboxing, and uh, I think it's going to be an interesting fight and striking match. Is this uh, an opportunity or an opponent that is really good for you to get back into it? Do you feel like this is the, the perfect opponent for you? I absolutely agree, and uh, I really appreciate to strike force and uh, show times to be part of this event because um, three people who kicked my ass in the last three fights are also competing in this tournament, like I said in an interview over there. And um, I'm very excited, but I'm looking like forward, first step, one step at a time, and you know, I have to pass uh, Haritonov. What have you done to, to switch things up in your career? Um, you know, I, I saw that you were at uh, Greg Jackson's camp, right? Uh, you've been training with a lot of the good guys there. Tell us about some of the things you've been doing. No, I still train with all my trainers from Chicago. Dina Castells, Jiu Jitsu, Mike Garcia, Boxing, Sean Barmet, John Kering, uh, Wrestling. Now I have one more guy in our team, Said Hatim. I train for him with Muay Thai and Kickboxing. And, um, I spent uh, three weeks in uh, Albuquerque as part with uh, good guys like John Jones, Rashad Devon, Keith Jardine, you know, and uh, it was a really great camp and I'm very excited, you know. I saw a clip online where you jumped and you kicked someone yeah, and you did John this John Jones make a like, famous 300 kick, you know, or whatever. It was fun, we put everything on Arlovsky.com and uh, people put on YouTube this video. It, it was great, it was fun. It was fun, but at the same time I, it was a really good workout, it was a really hard workout, and um, uh, I feel great. Only one thing bad about this camp, because it's like first workout, it's 9 or 9.30 in the morning, you know, and uh, it's kind of like early for me, but otherwise everything fine. You know, long-time fans will, will, will realize that this is the first time you and I have ever talked on camera since a very famous moment. Do you remember that moment? I remember that moment and uh, you understood me wrong because yes. I want to cover like uh, bad, 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 like bad words cover on TV. Like it wasn't story. me, it was them who understood you wrong. Okay, never mind. P -P, but, but it was great and, uh, and uh, everything fine. You can uh, like pay attention to Mom, Mama Leo, you know, he's all kind of nervous already. Yeah, Why is he nervous? No, because you know, we, we have like, we already like 10 years, we, we have the same style, don't say anything bad about our opponent. Actually, Tim Silva, he was first opponent, I mean first person who I said like, something wrong, because obviously he did something wrong and... Uh, but anyway, Respect. what's happened, what's happened, you know? Did you see that clip of Tim Sylvia as a cop now? Did you good, see him? And he, and he got knocked so down. It's me and I have to be careful, really careful in uh, Iowa State or what? Well, he said he wants to arrest you for some reason. Yeah, no, he's, he, I, I heard somebody told me he want to put me in a jail, but... Uh, I have Would you to, like to fight him again? Oh, it's, it's like, it's, it, it's, it's one of my uh, dreams, you know? Why? But did you see his last fight? He didn't, he didn't look that good. Obviously, I didn't see his last okay. fight, and uh, um, but it's, it's it's personal. It's personal. Have you told Strikeforce to maybe sign him so that you can actually fight him? No, it's not my uh, job to work uh, to, to talk with somebody from Strikeforce. I, for this, I have Leo Karolinski, my manager. But I hope, I hope one day it's gonna happen. Okay, give us your prediction. Who's gonna make it to the finals of the Grand Prix, and who's gonna win it all? Like I said, one step at a time. I have to pass Karitonov. I don't want to do the same mistake what I did before, you know. And um, we'll see what's happening after because every time when I like talking too much, you know, I got my ass kicked. And when I didn't take my opponent serious, I got my ass kicked. When I focus on the boxing and stare MMA, I got my ass kicked. So now I have to be disciplined, very careful. and. Uh, I promise to my fans that I train hard for this fight. I will do everything possible to beat Haritonov and uh, and uh, hopefully we're gonna talk after the fight or if not, we're gonna post interview on Arlovsky.com and uh, simple, simple, stick with the game plan. Stick with the game plan and it's good to see the old Arlovsky back. You got the beard. 
It's uh, one of the best beards in MMA, the hair. I grow, I grow in my, I grow in my hair back. And I saw six shows there in the poster. You know, I have kind of like fat face and short hair. Yeah, I have to grow my my hair back. You know, the old Arlovsky. Old Arlovsky, exactly. Or old new Arlovsky. The old new Arlovsky. Very good. We look forward to it this Saturday night. Andre Arlovsky going up against Sergey Kharitanov. Strike Force GP. It should be a great event. Thank you so much for the time, and it is good to see you again Thank three you years again. later. Yeah, three years. Oh, it's wow. been three years. Unbelievable, right? We've come a long way. Yeah, probably you didn't. You didn't interview me because my manager scared you. Well, sometimes he's he, he's kind of he's he intimidates me but and he gets good, mad. Good. And, then, and then I see you guys selling the t-shirt, so I was like, hey, I, I think yeah, you guys are not? happy, right? Why not, yeah. Cheddar makes it better. Yeah. yeah. All right, thank you, Andre. No